Hi, I'm Dee Dee Newman. My day job is a writer and I live here near LA. The name of my story is Delivery Driver Beware. So I started working as a delivery driver soon after the lockdown started. It was so fucking easy, a monkey could do it. Pick something up at point A, deliver it to point B. Easy peasy. So I was only getting food orders for the first month and then ping, my phone goes off and there's an alcohol delivery. So I'm like, huh? I check it out, it's only two bottles of wine. It was still in the early days of the lockdown so I knew I would not be delivering to a raging party of alcoholics. So I go to pick up the wine at the liquor store which was very close to where I already was. Then I look at the drop off at the delivery and of course, it's never anywhere near where you already are. And this time, I do not recognize the delivery address at all, which was a first. It was out in the boonies, somewhere I had never been, probably about 15 miles away. So the first 10 miles were easy peasy, just do east as the crow flies. Had the music on, rocking out. Then my GPS told me to turn left on this country road that was actually very picturesque. There was white picket fences, there was horses grazing on the grass, there were horse trailers and beautiful homes, but one thing I did notice was very long ass driveways. So I was hoping and praying that I would not have to venture up one of them. So as I'm getting closer, I'm looking for the address, looking for the address, don't see it. Then the GPS says, oh, you're here, you've arrived. I'm like, no, I haven't, I don't see the address. So I drive up and down the block, turning back and forth looking for it, I cannot find it. At this point, if I were actually smart, I would have just contacted the customer and had them guide me in. But no, I'm a delivery driver, I'm audacious, I'm bold, I go where no one else dares to venture, which is precisely up one of those long ass driveways. I just picked one for the hell of it where I thought it might be. So I get all the way up this driveway and all hell breaks loose. All of a sudden, sudden like 10 rabid dogs, like foaming at the mouth, totally wild. They leap on my car. They're scratching and clawing at the window. I roll up my window really quick. I'm like, holy fuck, it was surreal. So once the windows were rolled up, I just took a moment to breathe. And I thought, what do I do now? I surveyed my situation. I couldn't go forward. So there was a horse trailer in front of me. I wasn't gonna go back down the driveway backwards. There was nowhere to go on either side. There was a ranch house to the left, but I did not see anyone there. And there was a huge fenced off area to the right with horses. So I thought, okay, I'm just gonna call 911. I'll have them call the dogs off so I can get the fuck out of Dodge. Just as I was about to do that, an elderly lady comes out of the house. She calls off the dogs, they retreat, and make this like posse behind her. That gave me a tiny, tiny iota of confidence to roll down my window a crack so I could have a conversation with her. I asked her, do you know where this address is? I said, it must be very close to you. She said, no. I said, oh, do you know this person's name? It must be one of your neighbors. She said, no. So I'm thinking, I get it. People that live in these kind of areas are total freaking loners. They just want to be left alone. They don't want to know their neighbors. They want to just live with their dogs and their horses. So I said, okay, thank you. Maybe you can help me get out of here down this driveway. How do I turn around so I can go down forward? She says, oh, I'm so sorry. You can't, you're going to have to back down. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> so I asked her, can you please help me back down the driveway? And luckily she said, yes. So we literally spent half an hour. She was guiding me, turning the steering wheel like an nth, of, an nth of a degree, left, right, just to try to back down this long ass driveway so I didn't hit a dog or a horse or a horse trail or a fence. Finally, like literally half an hour later, I'm finally back on the street. I wave her, I say, thank you. And I take a few more deep breaths. Then I still have to deliver the wine to the customer. Or do I? I decide not. I open the delivery app and I tell them precisely what happened. I tell them I'm going home. I do just that and I 
did not remember until I got home that the two bottles of wine were still in the back of my car. So what do I do? I proceed to open and drink two bottles of wine. Did I ever work for that delivery company again? Fuck no.